Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where we watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Phila Ristirit. I'll be taking you through English from 1, lesson 2. And today our topic will be on grammar and our subtopic will be on the type of sentences. So by the end of the lesson, you as a learner, you should be able to define what is able to describe the different types of sentences and secondly you'll be able to use the different types of sentences correctly in a sentence or to explain the types of sentences and so we're going to start by defining what is a sentence and so we'll begin by saying a sentence is a grammatically correct series of words which normally have the subject and the predicate a sentence is used to convey a question, a statement, an opinion, exclamation, a command, and most sentences contains of a main clause and one or more of a subordinate clauses. And most sentences must begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. I'm going to look at the different types of sentences and I will name them one by one. We're going to have the types of sentences such as exclamative sentences, declarative, interrogative, affirmative, negative, and imperative sentences. We'll begin with the first one, which are de declarative sentences. So when we talk of declarative sentences, these are sentences which express statement or they make statement or express opinion. And when we talk of statement, they tend to tell or say something. For example, we can use an example such as my cat is black, that is a statement. Uh, we can also say she won the trophy, that's a statement. And in your, in, in your, in the example that we have, we can check the following examples of declarative statements such as hard work pays, that is a statement. John portrays skills while playing football. And the last one such as Anne is jogging. The three examples are statement or they tend to express an opinion. We're going to look at the other types of sentence, which is an imperative sentence. When we talk of imperative sentences, these are types of sentences which issue command or order. In this sentence, the subject of the sentence is mostly omitted. When we say when we have just said most of imperative sentences, they tend to issue order or command. For example, shut the door. Another example, move to the left. Another example, you can have an example such as turn right. That's an order. Don't ever touch my phone. That is an order. So those are the examples of imperative sentences. We're going to look at the next one, which are exclamative sentences. These are types of sentences which express surprise, excitement, feelings, and strong emotion. And in the exclamative sentence, they must begin with a capital letter and end with an exclamation mark. We can have examples such as hurrah, we won the game. The word hurrah will start with a capital letter and it must end with an exclamation mark. Wow, it was her birthday. Or wow, she showed up. Such excitement. When we talk of things that excites us, surprise us, we tend to use exclamative or exclamatory sentences we're going to look at interrogative sentences these are types of sentences which ask questions types of sentences that tend to start with a capital letter where one requires an answer for instance we expect that if you ask a question you expect an answer in return for instance we can have an example such as what is your name where do you live which is your which is your house in, in return, the speaker requires answers from the question post. Other examples we can have such as who won the match yesterday? Did she give you my book yesterday? They all start the capital letter and at the end they have a question mark to, to show that it's an interrogative sentence. Next we're going to look at the affirmative sentence. Most of the affirmative sentences are, yeah, are positive statements. They always mean yes. And this type of sentences usually show positivity. Next, we are going to look at negative sentences from the word negation. 
These are types of sentences which normally show negation or they tend to usually mean no to any statement. And we are going to look at the box in the following so that you can differentiate between affirmative sentences and negative sentence. You can look at the first example. I will go to the market. That is a positive or an affirmative sentence. Whereas when we are told to negate the sentence, what are we going to say? We are going to read it this way. I will not go to the market or I won't go to the market. Another example of affirmative sentence, I'm going to prepare the breakfast. Whereas if you are to negate the sentence, you will read, I'm not going to prepare the breakfast. Sorry, affirmative, you're going to say, I'm going to prepare the breakfast because we've said affirmative sentence tend to show positivity. It's a yes question. Whereas negative, they're going to negate with a no. So for instance, the example we just read, I'm going to prepare the breakfast which is an affirmative we will negate it by saying i'm not going to prepare the breakfast and another one i will go for a walk if you are to affirm that is a, if, if it were to read it it's an affirmative and we have if we were to negate the sentence we will say i won't go for a walk and that is the end of our lesson we can look at the assignment and it goes, punctuate the following sentences and identify what type of sentence each is. You're going to look at each type of sentence and you punctuate it. Whether it's an exclamatory, declarative, imperative, interrogative, or any type of question. You're going to punctuate them correctly and follow the instruction whether you're going to begin with a capital letter and with a full stop. And for much of this information, you can get them from Excelling in English, Students Book 1, third edition, which is published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And from this and more, you can contact or can reach us through the SMS number as shown. You can also find us on YouTube at Elimu TV. You can also reach us on Facebook, our pages that read Elimu TV, and you can follow us on Twitter at elimu tv underscore ke thank you for the lesson till we meet in the next lesson